Royal Caribbean is among the largest and most popular cruise lines on the planet. They have a fleet of dozens of ships sailing around the world and are also known for pushing the limits on the size of cruise ships and the things that you can do on board. And whether you're a big Royal Caribbean fan like I am, or you've never sailed the ships before, there are some things that you may not know about the cruise line, like how to earn more loyalty points, secret passages on one ship, and even how to get some onboard items for free or for less money. That's why I've rounded up some of the biggest Royal Caribbean secrets to know before you board. I'm going to tell you this, and it's coming from someone that is a big fan of Royal Caribbean. No matter what the marketing might say or suggest, there is a big difference between ships on the cruise line. Or more accurately, there is a big difference between the ship classes. So take a look at this video of two Royal Caribbean ships docked side by side in Cozumel. This represents one of the newest ships in the fleet next to one of the oldest. Yeah, there might be a slight difference here. If you want the most things to do, the most things to see and to eat, then you want to sail those newer and larger ships. The older ships definitely have a lot to offer, but they feel more dated. And in the case of the oldest and the smallest ones, they can be lacking in amenities. If you want a quiet, low key cruise, then this may be ideal. For me, I want the bigger ships with lots more going on. One secret that many people don't know is that the door markers on Royal Caribbean aren't just there to tell you which cabin is yours, but they also share directional information. Yet, many people just don't realize it. On newer ships, it's actually pretty straightforward. There's an image of the ship on each door marker and it is pointing forward. But on older ships, it might be more subtle. If your ship has a circular sign, look for a small arrow pointing forward. If it's a wave, the high side of the wave points toward the forward part of the ship. Keep these tips in mind the next time you're in the hallway to help you navigate which way to go. So first things first, always reserve a spot in a restaurant or in the theater if it is asked for. That way you can be sure that you'll have a seat. However, one little secret is that this isn't some exclusive nightclub. If you don't have a reservation, you can try to go ahead and go anyway. I found that in cases like the theater, the staff might ask for a reservation, but still let you in if you don't have one. Dinner in a specialty restaurant? That might be a little more tricky as there's simply less room in the restaurants on board. Still, if you don't have a reservation and you want to dine somewhere, then head down anyway. If there's space, the staff will usually see if they can seat you even without a reservation. Sometimes people make reservations and they just don't show up, leaving open seats. If you take the fleet as a whole across Royal Caribbean, one secret that you may not realize is that Royal Caribbean Group, which is the parent of Royal Caribbean International, is one of the largest resorts in the world. On a recent investor conference call, the company CEO said the entire company, which does include celebrity and other smaller lines, has 130,000 people a day on its ships. That's 130,000 people that it's feeding, 130,000 people that it's entertaining, making its stage show some of the most seen in the world, and 130,000 people sleeping in its beds. And that doesn't even count crew on those ships as well. If you think of it as a city that puts the company as a whole about the size of Gainesville, Florida, or Athens, Georgia, or Topeka, Kansas. One thing that can surprise many people is that your costs on the cruise can vary widely. That's because Royal Caribbean International, they use something called dynamic pricing. That's just a fancy way of saying that prices can change depending on your specific cruise. This can be the price of many things on the ship, ranging from things like drink packages to admission to the water park on Coco Cay. For instance, I've heard of prices on the Thrill Water Park on the island being as high as $179 per person or as little as $51 per person, though that price was a few years ago. The frustrating thing is that you won't see these prices until you book your cruise. If I'm going to knock dynamic pricing, then I do have to give credit to one thing that's good for customers, yet many people don't realize it. 
there are discounts when you book items early. For instance, if you want a Wi-Fi package or a drink package or just about anything else, then you'll see deals when you book online ahead of time. The cruise lines, including Royal Caribbean, they like to do this because it means that you have a quote, fresh wallet when you board the ship. That spending you did on the drink package ahead of time was months ago. Now you feel like you can spend more when you're actually on your cruise. Even so, if you are hunting for a deal, it's the best secret to save some money during your cruise. Okay, this next one is a full blown secret, but it only applies to teenagers on one ship. On Oasis of the Seas, if you head to the back corner of the arcade, and you'll see a game that honestly looks a little boring and maybe a bit out of place. Most people would just pass it by. It's called King's Passage, but this game holds a secret. Play the game, and when you beat the couple levels that it offers, it unlocks the entire cabinet and swings open. This video game machine is actually a doorway to a secret passage on the ship. Open it up, pass through, and you'll come out in the teen hangout area. Want a way to save some cash that many people don't know about? Prices around the ship can change, and some things can even be free when in port compared to being at sea. A great example of this, on Quantum class ships, there's the North Star, the viewing platform that takes passengers in a glass enclosed pod hundreds of feet above the water. At sea, the pod goes straight up and then swings out over the side of the ship and over the water. When in port, it would only go straight up. As a result, if you want to take a ride during a sea day, then it's $19 per person on a recent cruise, but it's free to ride when you're in port. Look around the ship during your cruise and you'll find other items that have the same sorts of sea and port discounts. There's been a trend on cruise ships to offer a higher end exclusive experience to those customers that are willing to pay more. For instance, Norwegian Cruise Line, they have something called the Haven. It has its own restaurants, lounge, and even pools exclusive to the guests staying in those suites. Royal Caribbean has something similar but it doesn't seem to be as well known or publicized. If you are staying in a suite, then your time is going to be a lot different than if you're staying in a lower tier room like the rest of us. Those staying in suites, depending on the level, can get everything from access to suite only sun decks to included drink packages, included Wi-Fi, expedited boarding, and more. So it's not just that you're getting an upgraded room, but you're getting an entirely upgraded experience. Of course, a cruise is a place to spark some romance, but what if you need a little help setting the mood? Most people don't realize that some Royal Caribbean ships, they offer adult movies on demand. It's not exactly something that's advertised heavily. I first stumbled upon them flipping through movies to watch on pay-per-view. And while I didn't select to watch one of them, I did notice that they have run times of only about 10 minutes, it seemed there will also be a charge for access. Now, I'm not sure if there are locks on accessing these movies to keep kids from accidentally viewing, but you'd likely know if they did when the movie shows up on your stateroom bill at the end of the cruise. The Crown and Anchor Society Royal Caribbean's loyalty program is a popular one. Through the program, passengers can earn higher status for more nights sailed. And with that higher status, comes everything from priority boarding to even earning free cruises. But if I'm honest, you have to sail a lot of nights before you start to get some worthwhile perks in my opinion. For example, it takes 55 points and emerald status before you can get a water and snack as a welcome aboard gift on the ship. Normally, you earn one point for each night sailed. But if you wanna earn points faster, many people don't realize that you earn double points if you sail in a suite. Also, you can also earn double points if you sail solo, though you will have to pay double occupancy on the room. If you're walking around this ship and it feels like it seems pretty crowded, that's because it is. One secret is that ships often sail at greater than 100% occupancy. So there is a difference between occupancy and capacity. A ship's occupancy is measured by two people per cabin. So if a ship has 2,000 cabins and it sails with 4,000 passengers, it has 100% occupancy. 
but many rooms have space for more than two passengers, such as families sailing in the same cabin. That means on many cruises, the ship actually has greater than 100% occupancy. Think about that the next time that you have to stand in line to grab a bite to eat. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you've learned a thing or two about Royal Caribbean that you didn't know before you watched. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe because that helps more people see it. There's always more on Royal Caribbean and lots of other cruise tips and advice on Cruisely.com. Until next time, happy sailing.